How many of you are familiar with uh, uh, Miracle Hill Ministries? Raise your hand. Praise God. Well, uh, I just want to say that from Miracle Hill Ministries and the Overcomer Center, we just want to say a big thank you. Uh, we're thrilled to partner with uh, Freedom That Lasts and Faith Baptist. You have helped us to rescue so many young men. We have about 80 capacity over at the Overcomer Center that desperately need the Lord. Uh, it's not just the insanity of addiction and chasing the dopamine fix, but as Jim mentioned, it's, um, it's greater than that. It's, they don't just have a drug and alcohol problem, as Young Gun has mentioned, but they have a problem with living and they need Jesus Christ. One of the first individuals on my caseload was a 20-year-old individual who, who had overdosed 20 times on heroin and fentanyl, 20 times. And uh, he, he got saved. He accepted the Lord as his Savior. And he came back to me and he said, John, it just dawned on me that every time I was Narcan 20 times by the fire and rescue department, he said, I realize now that I probably would have gone to hell if I hadn't received the Lord. You see, that's what freedom that lasts and faith Baptist is doing. You are helping us rescue these individuals. And about five years ago, I worked at a secular drug and alcohol facility in Denton, Texas. And I'm here to tell you that our, that our cocaine and heroin recovery rate was only 4%. It was so bad. It was so putrid that we didn't even tell, we didn't even tell our clients you know, can you imagine say, hey, good luck, you know, you have a full 4% chance of, of, of recovering. And so, but we, you know, at Miracle Hill in the last two years, it's been almost around 48 to 50% within two years of staying sober and clean. But freedom that last has come along and has taken that number up, I believe significantly. We're evidence-based right here, Young Gun and David Shirley and others. And so it's made a, a big difference. Talking about David Shirley, uh, was on my caseload a few years ago, and I remember him coming to me and saying, John, I'm going to this place Friday night. Uh, it's terrific. I said, what's the name of it? He said, Freedom at Last. I said, well, I've never heard of it. He said, well, Jim Berg. I said, well, anything Jim's doing, that's a win-win situation. Keep going. And, and, and he did, and he loved it. And we're seeing individuals like that at Miracle Hill that are, that are partnering, partnering with with Freedom That Lasts and Faith Baptist, and we thank you. And I, I, after that, I went to our director at that time, Tim Brown, and I said, is there any way we can start sending more of these men over? We were sending them to, they were going to AA and NA and Celebrate Recovery, but is there any way we can send them? And, and he made that happen, and with uh, Jeffrey, or Jeremy Huff as well. So thank you. Thank you for aiding us. Thank you for helping us. Uh, everybody in this room knows, just like the president said the other night, that there is a greater pandemic going on right now, and it's not COVID-19. It is addictions, it's depression, it's anxieties, it is, uh, it is suicidal ideation, it is, it is uh, mental health. One out of every five people in America have a general mental health issue. One out of 25 have a major mental health issue. And many of our individuals coming to us are struggling with that homelessness, all these things, and uh, freedom at last is making the difference. Ecclesiastes 4.9, two are better than one. If, if one fall, the other raises them up. Freedom at last has been that one, so thank you.